I believe all of you can see me now. All right, friends. So what we'll do is we'll now go to the next part. I'm just heating some water, friends. Little bit of noise will be there. It'll be all right in some time. Now, friends, we have last thing to be done. That is the sales variance. All right. So you all know the table format for sales variance, right? What is the table format for sales variance? BQ into BP, AQ into AP, AQ into BP, and what is the last one? RAQ into BP. All right. So friends, keeping this format. Find out the sales variance on your own. I'll give you five to ten minutes of time. Please do it.
<coughs> Deepa has got the answer. Darshana has got. Darshana has got a different answer. Deepa has got a different answer. Anshuman has got the answer. Right. Darshana's answer is screen is not blank. Screen is not blank. My dear friends, Darshana's answer is wrong. Deepa's answer is wrong. Anshuman's answer is wrong. Sopna got what Darshana got wrong. Others, please do it. Believe in yourself. Difficulties of post lunch classes. Sandhya, Gokul, you both have got the answer right. Sopna, power nap time now, is it? I thought the lunch break was the power nap time. Now others think, where did you go wrong? Come on. I think everybody's common sense has now come back after lunch. You must have got 23,80,000 over here. And you must have got 23,88,000 over here. Am I right? Budget 23,80,000 of sales. Actual sales is 23,88,000. And you have told 8,000 adverse. We should be sad that the actual sales is more than budgeted sales this should be favorable <coughs> sorry friends let everyone finish doing this
<coughs> you want the question? Let everyone finish. Okay, I'll slow down. If everyone is done, let me know. Are you all done? I think once everyone gets the variance only then I'll go forward. Can someone please share the solution in the uh, in the WhatsApp group? Friends, I believe you are all done with this. I think many are still doing. Let them finish.
okay i'll do that i'll do that i'll do it on the board friends if you are finding it difficult i'll do it on the board okay this will be 5000 into 100 4000 into RIQ it will be I'll do it over here. Point number A. Total actual quantity. It is not RBQ. It is RIQ. Why did you say RBQ? Fifteen thousand six hundred is the total actual quantity. Okay. The standard mix is five is to four is to six. We are having Bravo, Champ, Super. Ten, fifteen. Ah. Uh -huh. Six two four zero, right? BP will be hundred, two hundred, one eighty. So, what's the total you get over here? Twenty four lakh seventy five thousand two hundred. All right. And what about the third column? How much is that? Twenty four lakh forty five thousand. Is it? All right. <coughs> so you will get the whole thing as eight thousand. Favorable. And then you will have three minus two. That will be twenty-four lakh forty-five thousand minus this. That will be fifty-seven thousand adverse. Am I right? So this one would be sixty-five thousand favorable. Inside this, the mix will be mix will be thirty thousand adverse. Right. Is it thirty thousand two hundred? Adverse or favorable? If I am not wrong, it is adverse. Ninety-five two hundred favorable. All right. Those who haven't got it, please write it down. I'll give you some more time. I will slow down over here now.
done friends any gst experts over here gst and income tax experts i want simple doubt i don't know whether you all will be able to crack it try us anshuman if a charitable trust doesn't take a 12 year registration are they still exempt from gst parallelly just do this okay that's just a doubt that came in my mind so i just wanted to check it i believe you are all done with this couple of doctors are going to meet me today evening to drill me with their doubts i'm just preparing myself okay are you all done with this part okay done all right so friends we are done with the sales variant okay now what we will do is we'll go to the next part have they given the cost also over here okay from this we can now find out the profit variances the table format for profit variances bq into bm aq into am aq into bm raq into bm now tell me what do you mean by bm <coughs> what do you mean by bm budgeted margin so for example in the first case it will be 5000 into 100 minus 90 will be what 10 second one would be what 4000 into 200 minus 170 would be 30 third one would be 6000 into 180 minus 130 that is 50 and the aq will be 5750 4850 4850 and what is the last one last one is 5000 multiplied by 120 minus 90 will give you 30 here 180 minus 170 will give you 10 165 minus 30 will give you 35 like this can you fill up the remaining and find out the variances over here 1 minus 2 will be called as the profit variance inside this 3 minus 2 will be the profit price variance 1 minus 3 will be profit volume variance inside this you will have profit mix variance and profit yield variance okay please do this friends in the meanwhile just think about the gst doubt that i have asked If one other doubt, scientific research is now only hundred percent of the expenses. Earlier it was one fifty percent. Google is showing hundred percent now. Only hundred percent. That too only to some approved scientific organizations, right? For getting exemption. 12a is mandatory that's the normal argument that i get but the pro point is gst is chargeable section it should be a supply of service and it should be for the purpose of some kind of profits in the charging section charity does it come under that that is the doubt that is disturbing me 11 or uh, 12a under exemption part what you said exemption will come only if it is taxable right now if this whole activity by itself is outside the purview of gst will there be a 12a required for claiming the exemption because pure charity is not something which we do for any consideration or we do it for any profit making purpose please do this friends profit variance no 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 suppose i am doing a charitable activity i get 1 crore now should i pay gst on that if i don't have 12a because 
guarantee doesn't according to me come under section 7 that is the chargeable section of gst Just think in those terms, just let me know later. And presumptive is 50%, right, on doctor? Up to 50 lakh of turnover. I'll go to the next slide. What is for PRF? Not done, right? Let everyone finish. All right, so that's the notification number I wrote 12, 2017. But what about section 7, Rishi? Have you gone through section 7? It is the charging section for GST. Only if section 7 applies, then only the notification will apply, right? They are towing for a concentration in the course of business. Section 7 says in the course of business, right? Darshan has got the answer. Section 7 says in the course of business. So is this business? That is the question. Service will be considered as charitable under GSE only if it's provided by a 12 AB. Where have you read that with section number summit? These are all grey areas, being honest. I think Dashna has got the right answer. Let others also do it and finish it off. <coughs>
you are saying if it is not for charitable it will not be considered as charitable is what you are trying to tell is it then it's a checkmate right for many charitable organizations who don't have 12 way they end up paying gst one of my client is checkmate friends how do i help him please give me some advice parallelly please do standard costing also but 12 we will take it now what about the consideration receipt before he has got 12 we simply will keep quiet do not tell anyone correct Thanks, Rishi. I'll go through that. Thank you, Samit. Everybody is done writing this. Everybody got the answer. Tell me what are the variances that you got. Tell me again. I'll just write down the summary over here. What's the answer you got over here now? First one you got seventy four thousand favorable or adverse? Adverse. This one was fifty-seven thousand adverse, is it? And the other one is how much? One lakh seventy thousand adverse. No, no, no. That shouldn't. That is not possible. Seventeen thousand adverse, is it? Okay. All right. Under this, under this, you have thirty-five thousand eight hundred adverse, and the last one will be what? Eighteen thousand eight hundred favorable. Fine. If everybody is clear and done with this, are you thoroughly done? Because now I am going to teach you a concept which is very much important for the reconciliation table. Are you all done writing this? Everybody is still writing. Message ND right away now. I will slow down because then you will not get the flow. Once I go to the next part. i believe everybody is done okay now now listen very very carefully see relationship between sales variant and and what and profit variance sales variance and profit variance everyone now interact with me okay how much is the sales price variance How much is the sales price variance? No, no, it's not eight thousand. It is fifty-seven thousand adverse, right? How did you get eight thousand? It is fifty-seven thousand adverse. Now tell me, how much is profit price variance? No, Anika, you are all getting it wrong. It's fifty-seven thousand adverse itself. So now tell me, what is the moral of the story? i will call this as spv i will call this as ppv so can i say sales price variance and profit price variance will always be the 
saying please write down this in your books now Are you all done writing this? Can I go to the next part now? Not done. Please write down. Friends, tomorrow night if I take class, is it okay for you? Nine to ten thirty. You already have classes at CAP. That's why I'm asking. If you are exhausted, I will not keep. Till what time the Sunday classes goes on in CAP? No idea. It goes on. Not yet confirmed, is it? You just confirm and let me know if you are getting free by around five thirty six in the evening. Then is it okay if I take a nine to ten thirty session? Yeah. Just confirm and let me know. I am not confirming now. Uh, after that, we'll plan. Then I'll get Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll get four days in a row. That will be easier for me to complete standard posting also. Are you done with this? Everyone, can I go to the next part now? Okay, friends, one more is there. I'll draw a table, particulars. Okay, what are the three names that we have over here? Bravo, champ, super. Bravo, champ, super. What is the formula for sales volume variance, friends? Sales volume variance is. One minus three. So can I say it is BQ into BP minus three is what AQ into BP, right? Correct. All right. Now tell me how much is the Bravo five thousand into hundred? Hundred will be how much? Five lakh minus AQ into BP will be fifty-five lakh seventy-five thousand. Am I right? Okay. So tell me what is the sales volume variance for Bravo alone? Is it turning out to be seventy-five thousand favorable? Am I right? Okay. Here I'll put the NP ratio. Now tell me how much is the NP ratio that you get over here? Ninety is the cost. So I'll just put the selling price as hundred. We'll take the budgeted NP ratio. Okay. Hundred minus ninety divided by hundred because the base is from hundred. So what is the NP ratio you get over here? Do I get the answer as ten percent? Now tell me what is sales volume variance into NP ratio? That will turn out to be seven thousand five hundred favorable. Everybody gets this answer. I am doing for Bravo. You will do it for Champ and Super on your own. Not over. This is step one. Okay. I'll then write down step two. Here I'll draw the table like this. Particulars. I will now find out profit volume variance. How do you find out profit volume variance? That will be again one uh, one minus three, right? So one minus three will be BQ into BM minus AQ into BM. Am I right? This will give me what? This will give me PVV or profit volume variance. Okay. So now tell me how much is BQ into BM? That will be five hundred five thousand into ten. Correct. All right. Minus here it will be five seven five zero into ten. So fifty thousand here it will be. This is what first one. First one is Bravo. So it will be fifty thousand minus fifty seven five hundred. Do I get the answer as seven thousand five hundred favorable? Like this, you are supposed to do for Champ, and you are supposed to do for Super. Now tell me, do you find any similarity in these two things? Step one and step two. Okay. 
friend so can i say based on this that sales volume variance into np ratio will give you the profit volume variance but on an individual item basis but on an individual item basis you will not get the overall as the same can you write down this in your books now not aggregate individually You want the question slide, Anaga?
Have you put up everything, friends? All right, do you get the answer as 25,500 and 50,000 adverse? Fine. Does it tally? That's the more important question. Does it properly tally the way we tallied Bravo? Same, right? All right. So if you are done with this, next one I'll write down. Okay. We found out uh, profit variances. Now we will find out the contribution variances. Here the table format will be BQ into BC, AQ into AC. AQ into BC and the last one is going to be RAQ into BC. Everyone tell me what is the meaning of BC now? Budgeted contribution. So now 1 minus 2 will be what? It will be contribution variance. All right. Inside this what will we have? We will have contribution price variance. And we will have contribution volume variance. Inside this, we will have contribution mix variance and contribution yield variance. Write down, friends.
Are you all done writing this? Okay, now listen very carefully. Relationship between sales variance and contribution variance. Now I think you can tell me the answer for this one. Wait, wait, wait. Many are still writing. I think I became a little fast. I will slow down. Everybody done? Now friends, we will do relationship between sales variance and contribution variance. Okay, wonderful Ashwini. Point number one, sales price variance will be equal to contribution price variance. First rule will be the same. Second rule will be sales volume variance into earlier we use NP ratio. Now what will we use? PV ratio will be equal to contribution volume basis, but on an individual basis. Please write down this also in your books now. <coughs> Ashwini, yes, Ashwini, tell me. I didn't get you. Come again. Standard cost. Yeah. In the question. question. You mean this question? Yeah. Okay. Here this is variable and fixed both. Okay. So if it is only the variable part, then it will be contribution, contribution variances. No, 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 no. If they mention only the variable cost, what we find out will be contribution. Then we will not be able to find out profit variance because fixed cost details are not available. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you, Ashwini. Are you all done writing this?
fine friends so we are done with the whole concept of sales variance also if you are clear with this we'll go to a beautiful area now reconciliation this area will take one hour okay it might take more than one hour also one question properly we do and if you become an expert in that one question logic wise you will be done with 50 to 60 percent of standard costing then in your books they have different types planning and operational variances uh, relevant costing anything you do it will be easy this is the main part of standard costing so now listen very very carefully i will explain this with the help of a problem it's very difficult to explain without a question so i'll just share the next question which is relevant for you Yes, we will take this problem. Question number three. Okay. I'll give you five minutes time. Read through the question. Understand the question. Can I write the formula for BC and AC again? Okay. Wait. BC is what? Budgeted contribution, right? The formula is budgeted selling price minus budgeted variable cost. Whereas AC is what actual contribution. So that will be actual selling price minus, if I'm not wrong, it is budgeted variable cost only. We take the variable cost as a common thing. That is how we get the answer. Or wait, let me confirm this part. Let me just confirm this part taking the steady material. Yeah, it's not standard. Standard and budgeted variable cost will be the same. Okay, just wait. They have just upgraded the website, friends. One moment, friend. I think I clicked on the wrong point. Study material, okay. Final. May 22. Standard costing. I'll take profit basis. It is supposed to be budgeted is what I understand. Let's just confirm and close it. Put Sales contribution price variance, right? Contribution volume variance, standard contribution. It is always standard contribution per unit that is relevant, I think. BQ into BP, AQ into AP. Price variance, contribution, volume variance, standard contribution, actual contribution, they have given a star over here. It is based on standard units cost. Okay. So what I gave over here is correct. So it is minus budgeted variable cost. Similarly, BM, budgeted margin, the formula would be budgeted selling price minus budgeted cost. Okay. Whereas actual margin would be actual selling price minus whatever is the budgeted cost okay. if you want to write down this also in your books you can put a star here based on budgeted volume okay 
just write. It is not relevant for you. Since Shiv Shankar asked me, I gave you this. It won't come in the exam as such. Are you all done writing this? Fine friends, I believe everybody is done writing this. Let me go to the next part now. Reconciliation. Please take this question. I will give you 5 minutes time. Read through it properly. Understand the question properly. After that we will do it together. Okay. I'll scroll down.
friends are you all done reading through it okay now here they have given direct material direct labor variable overhead fixed overhead after that they have given the actual details <coughs> still reading read through it Are you all done reading? Perfect. In this question, if you read through it, they are asking you to calculate all the variances. Beautiful. So you have to do sales, material, labor, variable overhead and fixed overhead. Are you understanding my point? So friends, I'll just give you a table over here. Okay. We'll write down working note number one. Determination of variables for calculating variances. Okay. So friends, now listen very, very, very carefully. Okay. What I will do is I will break my problem into two parts. Part number one will find out the variables SQ, SP, AQ, AP. After that, you can actually go and find out the other part of this. All right. So I just write down Roman number one. Sales variance. What are the parameters coming under sales variance? You have BQ. Then you have BP. Then you have AQ and then you have AP. Now tell me, what is BQ? In our question, how much is BQ? Budgeted quantity. How much is that given in the question? 5100. Okay. So that is what you should pull out from the question now. So it becomes easy for us to do it. Okay. What about BP? Budgeted selling price. Is it 20? What about AQ? Very good, it's 20. What about AQ? Actual quantity. <coughs> 4850, wonderful. What about AP? What about AP? Actual price. Once we complete this question, I will leave you, okay? Because this will be too much heavy to for you to handle. How did you get 19.7? You must have done 95,600 divided by 5,100, right? Okay. Friends, this 19.7 will be a rounded off number. The better thing to find out would be AQ into AP. That is already given. AQ into AP will be how much? Correctly, 95,600. That is better because AP is not used anywhere else. Okay. This like this. You will have, you know, answers will be slightly different. Everybody clear so far? So we are done with sales variance. Second one is what? Material variance. All right. Now tell me what will happen in material variance? SQ, SP, AQ and the last one is AP. Tell me how much is SQ now on your own. 
एस क्यूब Tell me the SQ on your phone. Come on. Two four two five. How did you get that number? Give me the formula for that. SQ is based on actual output. So here the formula would be four eight five zero units, which is the actual output multiplied by zero point five kg. So what's the answer you get over there? You get the answer as two four two five kg. What about SP? <coughs> What about SP? You tell me. I will not help you. I want you to think and tell me the answer. Standard price for material will be how much? It's very difficult to pull the data, but once you learn that, the whole question gets easy. Yes, Amana, it is four. Okay, it is four. SP is standard price per kg. That's all. Nine thousand seven hundred is a different thing altogether. That we'll find out later. Now tell me how much is AQ? AQ. AQ, wonderful. It is two thousand three hundred kg. Not four eight five zero is actual output. Two thousand three hundred kg is the actual input. Are you clear? AP, I don't think we need to find out. We we'll just put AQ into AP over here. AQ into AP will be nine thousand eight hundred. All right. Yes. Next one. Labor variance. Come on, tell me now. Inside this, what are the factors that will come? S H S R A H A R. Now tell me how much is going to be S H standard hour? Standard hours is two wrong. Two is wrong. Wonderful nine thousand seven hundred because S H is based on actual output. SR, tell me SR standard rate per hour. It is going to be two rupees, two rupees is it? Yeah, two rupees per hour. AH is how much? Actual hours. <coughs> is it eight thousand five hundred or eight thousand AH? It is eight thousand five hundred. Balance five hundred is idle time. Are you clear with that part? Eight thousand five hundred hours. This will find out AH into AR. Tell me how much is AH into AR? Sixteen thousand eight hundred. Wonderful. After labor, what is the next thing to be done? Variable overhead. Okay. SH. S R A H A R. Now tell me what will be the S H for variable overhead? Two thousand three hundred. I told you S H and A H for labor and variable overhead will be the same because whenever the labor will work, cooking gas will also work. Now tell me what is S R. S R is point three. By now, many of you have got a grip. A R not required. We'll directly put A H into A R. Tell me how much is A H into A R? Wonderful. It is going to be two thousand six hundred. Everybody clear? Now the last thing to be done over here is what? Fixed overhead. What is the table format for that A O? S R U, 
एफ ओ एच बी एफ ओ एच ए एच एस आर एच ओके ए ओ टेल मी वॉट इज ए ओ फोर्टी टू थ्री हंड्रेड नो 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 इट इज फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी एस आर यू स्टैंडर्ड रेट पर यूनिट स्टैंडर्ड रेट पर यूनिट पॉइंट थ्री दैट इज फॉर वेरिएबल ओवर हेड माई डियर फ्रेंड ट्वेंटी आफ्टर वेर डिड यू गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इज द सेलिंग प्राइस समिट फोर्टीन हाउ डिड यू गेट फोर्टीन That is the total standard cost. We are talking only about fixed overhead variance. Three point seven is per hour. We are using SRU. SRU is standard rate per unit. Seven point four is the right answer. Did you see how it becomes complicated when you have a real question in hand? Very good. It's given directly. Seven point four is given over here directly. Okay, right? See, uh, Shiv Shankar, SRU. What is the full form? Standard rate per unit. Correct. So per unit is seven point four. It's directly given over here. <coughs> All right. Next one. A F O H. How much is the actual fixed overhead? That's why I told you read the question carefully. Forty two three hundred. What about budgeted fixed overhead? Budgeted fixed overhead. This can be tricky. Come on, tell me. Hmm. Did you get thirty-seven seven forty? Let's check. It should be budgeted output. That is five thousand one hundred units multiplied by seven point four. How much is that? Wonderful. Whoever got the answer, great job. A H actual hours. How much will be the actual hours? Wonderful, eight thousand five hundred, and SRH will be how much? Standard rate per hour. Wonderful, that will be three point seven. Very good, friends. We have found out all the parameters. After you copy down this, can't you find out the sales variance on your own? Material variance on your own? Labor variance on your own, variable overhead variance on your own, and fixed overhead variance on your own. Can't you do that, friends? Write down this. Find out all the variances on your own. All the very best. I will rest here. You write down. Understand and write. Okay. If you have doubts in some numbers, go and check. Ask your doubt.
Yes, Shiv Shankar, if you finish this question in 10 minutes, I will leave you in 10 minutes. But I really doubt from my past experience that this will get over in 10 minutes. Next slide. You have started getting the variances. Wonderful. Tell me the answers finally in the end. That will be better. Or should I start writing it off parallelly? Tell me for sales. Is, this, is it for sales that you know 6,400? 1,400? I just write down over here. I'll put it with a reading pen. 6,400 adverse. 1,400 adverse. And the other one is 5,000 adverse. I'm presuming that's for sales, right? Material, you get 100 adverse. Then you get 600 adverse. And then you get 500 favorable. You fellows are doing so fast. The 10 minutes have motivated you left and right, is it? 2,600 favorable. 200 favorable. And 2400 favorable. All right. <coughs> 5000 adverse for which one, Sandhya? Is it for variable over it? Sales. Yeah, correct. Continue writing, friends.
You want the previous slide? Sorry, I'm reading this message now. Amazing speed, Sudiksha, you have reached fixed overhead. I'll just copy down the numbers and I'll come back to this slide, okay? You've got 6410 adverse. Then you have 4560 adverse. 1850 adverse. This much is enough. You don't need to do beyond that. What about variable overhead? I'll go to the next slide. 310 adverse. Then you have 50 adverse, okay, and 360 favorable, is it? Okay, this one is favorable, okay. You want the labor slide summit? Ananga, no, that's wrong. I don't remember getting a number like 7600. There is something wrong there. Please double check. I'll go to the next slide. Variable over a D point is 2600, not 7600. Can I go to the next one?
Are you all done with this? Wait, did everyone finish? I'll give you two more minutes. That's fine. Mix and uh, all, I'm not worried. It's okay. Whatever you get, I'm okay. There's a concept over here which I want to explain. This much is sufficient. Are you all done with this? Once we do all the variants, is everybody done? Anyone not done? Message me now. Otherwise, I'm going to the next part. Sales variance, what is the doubt? That's why can you raise your hand? You've got a rounding off. That's because you must have taken AP as 19.70. Correct? So that's why your answer became a round off. That's why I gave you this AQ into AP. You must have taken something else over here. AQ into AP is 95,600. You must have got some other number. That is just the rounding of difference. That's why I told you to ignore this and to put it this way. Okay. That's where you went wrong, Dashna, because we already know AQ into AP is 95,600. But because you divided and then multiplied, it went wrong. Ignore that. This is the correct one. 6,400, 14,000 and 5,000. All right. So once you do with this, the next step for us to do is, I'll write down, next step is to find out budgeted NP ratio and PV ratio. So I'll write down Roman number one, budgeted NP ratio. Okay. So tell me point number A, net profit. Okay, uh, how much is the net profit that they have given in the question over here? Is it six? And what about the selling price over here? 20. All right. So what is the NP ratio that you get over here? What is six by 20? Do I get the answer as 30%? Correct. Okay. Same way I'll do over here. Roman number two is what budgeted. PV ratio. Okay. Here you get the contribution per unit. Selling price. You can find out the PV ratio. Now tell me how much is the contribution. 20 is the profit. If I add fixed cost. That is 7.4. If I add I will get 20 plus 7.4. That is 27.4. Am I right? 20. No, no, no. Sorry. 6 plus 7.4. That will be 13.4. Selling price is 20. Do I get the answer at 67 percentage? Please write down.
Are you all done writing this? Perfect. Friends, once you are done with this, we will do the reconciliation now. Okay. Now the next part, one shot you will not understand what's happening. But then once you go through it again and again, you will understand. I'll do it in Excel. Easier for me to explain to you. <coughs> All right. There are three methods of reconciliation. First one is absorption costing method. Second one is also, second one is marginal costing method. Third one is again absorption costing method. All right. The root is different. In the first one, it is budget to actual. Second one is also budget to actual and the last one is standard to actual. All right. So now first I'll start with budgeted profit. Okay. Now tell me. How much is the budgeted profit over here, friends? Look at the question and tell me. Wait, Ashwini, you're still doing? I'm reading your message now. What exactly are you writing now? Wait, wait, wait. Let Ashwini finish. I don't want to rush. Let everyone finish. One minute. Fine, friends. Are you all done? Sure. Okay. I'll now go and show it over here. So, budgeted profit. Did you get the answer as thirty thousand six hundred? How did you get this thirty thousand six hundred? Tell me. Six rupees is profit, and the output is five thousand one hundred. So, I'll give the formula over here. Five thousand one hundred into six. That's how you got the answer as thirty thousand six hundred. Correct. Now, friends. Every time the variance is adverse, what will happen to my profit? Will it go up or will it come down? If my profit, if my variance is adverse, the profit will come down. So now tell me, material was what was the variance? Total variance of material. How much was the total variance of material? So I'll put minus hundred over here. Okay. What about labor? What about labor? It is a plus two thousand six hundred, right? Correct. Okay. What about uh, variable overhead? It will be three hundred and ten adverse. Correct. What about fixer overhead? We'll do one thing. We'll break up fixer overhead into two parts. One I'll put expenditure, and the other one I'll put FOH volume. Why I'll tell you later. Okay. How much is fixer overhead expenditure? Is it plus? This one is plus three ten. Is it okay? What about expenditure? Four five six zero plus or minus minus right. What about volume? One eight five zero minus. Okay, then what about sales price variance? Is it minus one thousand four hundred adverse? Correct. Sales volume variance. I will just make a small change. How much is the sales volume variance? Can you tell me? It is minus five thousand. I will multiply with the NP ratio. What is the NP ratio that we are having? Is it thirty percent? Right. So do I get the answer as minus one thousand five hundred? Correct. I will put over here actual profit. 
okay the formula for this one would be budgeted profit plus sum of all these things do i get the answer as 24100 over here i'll just highlight this part in yellow okay let's just cross check this okay we'll just go and cross check this i'll come back to my sheet and i'll write down the next working note the next working note okay that will be uh actual profit okay point number a actual sales can you tell me how much is the actual sales actual sale value is it 95600 that is aq into ap what is the actual material cost again aq into ap again aq into ap okay 9800 what about labor cost 16800 okay what about variable overhead Is it eight thousand five hundred or two thousand six hundred? Two thousand six hundred, right? What about fixed overhead? Is it forty two three hundred? Okay. So now tell me if I subtract all this, what is the actual profit I get over here? Do I get the answer as twenty four thousand one hundred? Is that exactly the same answer I got over here, friends? Yes. Just write down this first in your books, all of you. Then I'll go back to the Excel sheet and show you. Are you all done writing this, friends? I believe everybody is done writing this.
All right. So friends, after this, I'll just show you the answer in a different method. This method is almost the same. Okay. I'll just put everything over here and just make small changes. Change number one, I will remove the volume variance. Change number two, here I'll put the formula as 5000 into PV ratio because it's marginal costing. Everyone tell me what is the PV ratio? It is 67%, uh, right? Yes, it is 67%. So it will be 5000 into 0.67. All right. So here it will be equal to minus 5000 into 0 0.67. All right. Now if I put over here the answer, it will be this minus sum of. So that will, oh wait, I think I have made some mistake here. 30,600. It's not minus, it should be plus. Because wherever it's negative, I put negative over there, right? 24,100. Same way, last one, it will be this. And I'll copy up all these things. Here, I'll put the number again. Sales price also, I will put. But I'll put over here zero. Okay. And instead of putting the budgeted profit here, I'll put standard profit. Standard profit, I'll take 4850 multiplied by 6 rupees. So that will turn out to be how much? 29,100. Now, if I check the answer, again, you will get the same one. How I am getting? We will think about that later. First, you write down these three things in your books. I just lost my this thing, friends. Just write down one minute. I'll just, I'm not sure if I missed out any chats. I believe one minute. Let me just come down. Okay. You all have got the same answer. Just write it down. I'll open the chat again. Something went wrong in my phone. Okay. Here the chat box is open. Rashna, you're done writing so fast.
let everyone finish doing this friends is my screen blank not able to see it in my phone <coughs> showing my class has ended i'm still here wait 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 friends are you all done writing this it's a sign is it so if you are done with this then we are winding up our class i don't want to torture you anymore you can absorb this well and good okay i'll give you two more minutes let's just confirm that you are done are you all done writing this sure perfect friends now here how is this tallying all the three are different methods how it is tallying is something what i want you to look at highlight these areas these are the areas with which it is getting tallied if you observe these are the only changes that i have made highlight these areas friends take your calculator now What is thousand eight fifty plus thousand five hundred? That's the number that you get over here. Did you understand that one part? All right, other one. What is thirty thousand six hundred minus twenty nine thousand one hundred? That is again thousand five hundred. That's nothing but the sales volume variance that you get over here. Keep this and think how this is tallying. All right. next class i will not be sharing that today next class i'll tell you the logic of why it tallies first i want you all to think only after that i can come and explain the whole thing to you so friends i hope you have all understood whatever was taken today shall we back up our session with this now perfect let's back up our session friends i'll see you hopefully tomorrow morning at 6:30 if my health falls down or deteriorates i'll let you know okay Thank you so much friends have a nice time ahead take care thank you